Guy Martin is about to see whether an artificially intelligent race car can beat his lap time of one minute two seconds around Silverstone's Stowe circuit. This is it. This is the future. I'm sat in it. I'm having a go in it. It's great. Race engineer Rowan Reed gives Guy his final briefing. You can hold the roll cage. Okay. Hold, hold there. Yeah. Then you can brace yourself at least, can't you? When you're going around corners and stuff, and just let the wheel spin in between his legs. Anytime you just hit the brake if you feel uncomfortable. Yeah? Thank you. Guy drives to the start line. Now at the mercy of a robo race algorithm that's taken 10 coders two years to write. His first lap in an AI race car is about to begin. Two seconds. As soon as they get a signal. Just connecting. <laughs> Turn it on and off, yeah. Turn it on and off. It always happens at the wrong time, doesn't it? <laughs> the Wi-Fi connection to the car is restored. DevBot's artificial intelligence is turned on and asked to drive a shakedown lap. All right, launching you now, mate. I'm surprised if he's nervous. DevBot's AI decides how to drive by itself. Its lasers detect the white lines at the track edge, and its cameras differentiate between green grass and black tarmac. Then the AI software calculates the straightest and therefore quickest racing line around. Guy's first AI lap of a circuit is complete. Systems engineer Dan Willens is ready for the debrief. So how does it feel? Are you comfortable with that? It feels spot on. It's not very smooth. The, the steering input that it's putting in isn't that smooth. It's not, yeah, it's very 50p. Now, we end of the back straight. That's breaking later than I feel comfortable. <laughs> but, <laughs> already. but when it gets there, I think, oh, yeah, yeah, I could have done that. OK, so you're happy to go faster? Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%, no problem. Yeah, whack it up. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Going faster is as simple as changing the numbers in the AI equations. Even small increases have big effects. 7.7 okay. foot. OK, cool. Yeah, you boys know. <laughs> All right, launching you now, mate. They continue with more laps to fine tune the AI. DevBot is lapping around 10 seconds slower than Guy so he uses his experience to suggest where the software could be driving better. How was that? There's no finesse there. No. You just need small throttle application, yeah, but yeah. it's just like not 100% off, not 100% yeah, yeah. And then just need smoothing out. Exactly. This is the whole like, autonomous development that, yeah. we, that, that we're going to have to do. Did you see what speed you got to? Or, or... I, was busy, Did... I was busy looking where we were going, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great experience for us to have Guy here. The feedback's really good, because he's quite a daredevil. It makes it possible for us to push it with him inside it, which is difficult, because not very many people want to do that. As you can see, not even the team. When robo-race engineers travel in the vehicle, the speed is limited to 100 kilometers per hour. But to beat Guy's lap time, DevBot will have to travel at twice that speed. Right, so the next will be 200. Well, let's have a chat to him first. Because it was quick. No one wants to do that. All right, guys, so the next on the run plan is 200 kph. As long as you're happy with that. It looked pretty quick down the back straight. I mean, we can lower that top speed if you want to go smaller increments. I know you've just had a baby. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> let's have it all. <laughs> all right, yeah, we'll do it now. This is the fastest we've ever had somebody in the yeah. car. They also increase the scaling factor for corner speed to 0.8. The last time it was that high was in Buenos Aires when DevBot crashed. <laughs> maybe a bit of a pioneer, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Right, Guy, you're good to go. At the first hairpin, known as Damon's, the AI is 10 kilometers per hour slower than Guy. But down the back straight, it's much closer. DevBot peaks at 197. Just one kilometer per hour slower than Guy. 
The AI is harder on the brakes, pulling 1.1 G into the hunt chicane. And it exits Hawthorne, the last corner, quicker than Guy as well. But fearing the car is heading for the grass, he can't help intervening. Oh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> but it doesn't put him off. I'm thinking, yeah, he could push on a bit more. It's not worrying the tyres, but yeah, they are getting nervous now. I bet if you did that on stone cold tyres, it'd spin. I think it's not as fast as me yet, so I think we need to build it up in all the spot, then it'll be faster than me. OK, thank you. DevBot is now within seven seconds of Guy's lap time. I think we're going to go up again, all right? The team build a new algorithm that should allow DevBot to corner quicker than Guy. Just waiting for the model to build, and then we'll get going. After 11 minutes, they're ready for what is expected to be an AI lap that will beat a human. Yeah, good, uh, good luck, Guy. I wish you all the best, mate. <laughs> um, are you ready? All right, I'm going to launch you now. The track goes silent. Guy is nowhere to be seen. Hey, um, I've got a tow rope in my transit van. I think we're a bit stuck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, we'll be over. Thank you. While waiting for the new algorithm to be loaded, the tyres cooled and lost grip. But the AI wasn't clever enough to compensate by going slower. It's victory for Guy and humanity. <laughs> lost some critical tyre temperature there. 0.88, maybe a bit too much. All right, mate. That wasn't my fault. There was nothing to do with me. I, I wasn't driving no, I, it. No, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> Really, from an engineering point of view, that spin just shows you the limit that we reach with the tyres. They had turned in on turn one and lost the back end, corrected, and then Hume would have backed out and not tried to go for turn two. You thought if it was intelligent, it would have learned, oh, right, I'm at the limit, I need to back up. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, but yeah, it didn't, yeah, yeah, it yeah, just yeah, went yeah. full berries. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. It's just instant learning of the tyres. That's, that's, that's what's missing at the moment from autonomous vehicles. So it's factoring that in. So you just add more and more intelligence to the software. So once you've learned something, you implement it immediately. That's what humans are really, really good at. It'll wash, won't it? Oh, Damn, yeah. I think the thick of it out. Fun and games, but I thought we'd beat the robot. off. <laughs> couldn't have been more impressed. Ability of the car, how fast it is. The potential, yeah, and the autonomous control. <sighs> it's not that it, oh, in 10 years time, we might have something. No, 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 it's here now. Given time, with those boys, that'd be faster than me. Well, thank you very much. It's been an education, mate. It's an honor, mate. Anything to fear. Um, they become self-learning, not they? They might start getting together, all these autonomous cars, and try and overturn the human race. Until then, bloody amazing. <laughs>